Hey, welcome back to Paradigm. We're here at the office, just hanging around the water cooler, and I think I need a drink. I'm gonna drink him to death. <laughs> you got the cup. Fair effort, to be honest. Although I'll just keep being refilled. You can never defeat me. Oh wait, what? How is he being refilled? Let me take the, my serrated spoon of death and. Wait a minute, where is his refill thingy? Nice Let's just cut him. Is distance for greater I'll things. cut you. All right, there's gotta be like um, maybe here. Yeah. Say goodbye to your watery pal. <laughs> ah, what are you gonna do? Wait till I evaporate? I have something much better planned for you. I will parch my palate and watch you die. <laughs> what the hell? Enjoy drinking me, you sick bastard. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to drink. All of that. That's One like 18 liters. Hour later. Yeah. I like how the Dupu logo. That was pretty refreshing, actually. Logo. Except for the part where he was screaming in agony. Oh man. Begging for his life when I was literally <laughs> drinking him to death. I I wish I didn't miss that part. That would be hilarious. Alrighty. So let's get out of here. Like that. Oh, that's the cone. On top of the head computer. Some vodka bottles, beer bottles. Wow, this looks like a really productive office. I would definitely want to work here, except for I would not want to be the salesman of the month because you die and get your head hung in the wall. Out of order, you're here. Okay. Let's get out of here, boys. Oh my god, I thought it was broken and I have to do something else. What is that? Pick up your tour guide here. I don't think my tour guide is alive. I think he's I think he's dead. Yeah. Then that's the rest of them down there. Somebody probably should have got him out of the ventilation shafts months ago. Alright, what do we got? I was never a huge fan of guided tours. Me neither. So let's myself, get out of here. Putting my own narrative on things. For example, Mona Lisa was an ex cup down on her luck. Then Da Vinci, the lovable dog, showed her that life is worth living. See? Much more interesting. I have to agree. I, I do. Oh, is that a, is that a rat? Ah, it's a mutated rat. Um, can I pick it up? It's too high up. I think it's too high, I yeah. Can't reach it. If only I was Damn. a noodle hand mutant. There's probably something else I could use. Yeah, if I, if I was a noodle hand mutant, things would be... My life would be going in the right direction. Tour okay. Guide is calling out to me. Yeah, I why did I just don't come around this? I'm coming for you. All right, all right, I'm coming for you, buddy. Let's do this. Talk to him. Hello, guide the tour. Take me on a journey through time and space. Whoa, this is actually pretty cool. It's a tupajin with cassette. I heard they only made one batch because children began to herald them as the one true god. Let's do this. <laughs> Yee! You can use a dupagen to play audio tapes and mini games. There's mini games. Most importantly, it can be used to travel. Oh, fast travel map. Nice. So I can fast travel around. Let me let me check it. It's just like a Sega Mega Drive or something. Oh, it's got Bluetooth? Dude! Okay, let me let me see this. Welcome to the official tour for Duper Genetics. We'd like to dispel the rumors of being an evil company and take you on a wonder-filled trip that in no way will cause you any injury. <laughs> Unless, of course, you are spying for the Ethics Union. In which case, we are not responsible for your painful, fatal accident. But we're not evil. Emphasis on accident. For all you lawyers out there. Holla! Please step onto the red dot at the end of the hall when you are ready. What's gonna happen to me when I step on the red dot? Alright, let's step on the red dot. 
I'm definitely going down a trap door. You made it to the red dot without dying. You Yay! are not scum. This concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics facility. As a closing note, those cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more voiceover. How am I supposed to live on these terrible wages? I'm taking you down with me, Duper Genetics. You hear me? This whole place is going to explode any second. <laughs> Away from me! <laughs> Thank you again for attending the Dupa Genetics Tour. Have a nice day. Best tour I've ever had in my life. I've been missing so much. Ugh, All right, be weird. the first one to try our new like product been here before. for 2027. I wonder what it could be. Maybe it's an ass scrubber? Come on, you have, you have to use to the big God, red button. If you do any weird stuff, I'm going to be so upset with you. I'm going to write sure a letter. The sun treatment is on buttons, but I'm going to do it. My. Oh, my. That is over. That I was, was fun. I was actually a raver one time in my life. Then I was in a fatal shuffling accident. Ten That's how I became that that was a fatal day shuffling I accident. Hanged up my fat pants. And I was no longer allowed to make fat ass beatsies. And now I just make fat ass beatsies in my basement <laughs> because of what happened that day. Beatsies. And it got the restraining order against me. <laughs> Could you imagine that if your cat, like you, okay, no, let's just no. I'm getting that ringtone. What's up, John? Oh God! Thank God you called. Is the station still going to explode? Oh, yeah, about that. I can't have made that up just so I could have a few birds over and have some privacy. You're always at home, mate. And I need some privacy. No hard feelings, bear dog. Ugh. Damn, Damn you, John. For at least a month next time I see you. Yeah, fair enough. Can you uh, help me get away from wherever I am? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Looks like I'm on my own again. <laughs> what, a, what a douchebag. Save for the underlying feeling of doom and extreme anxiety about there is a cat Someone baby teleport me through space and time that is a gangster baby by a talking water cooler. slash punk that is a baby with an afro that is a baby hitler slash businessman baby that is a bodybuilder baby cool 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 man best place i've ever been in my life uh sir may i have a cupcake Open your goggles really brings out your eyebrows you get them threaded? Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, boosted that thug. Let's talk to him. I don't know, can we talk to him? He looks like just a, a cupcake computer. Welcome to Cuppy Cupcakes. We put the eggs in cupcakes. Implying that you ache because you ate so much because it was so good. Not because you got food poisoning. Yeah, I'm getting the food poisoning vibe. It's Is it gluten-free and vegan? Is gluten-free and vegan? Yes, most definitely. We make sure they have room to flap their wings and perch. Isn't that uh, ch chickens? <laughs> so that's a no. A no. Okay. All right. Cool. I would like I to purchase would like a cupcake. I would like to purchase a cupcake, please. Sure. Do you have cash, membership, or a coupon? No, I I don't think so. No I just want one. Damn. Um, can I please have a cupcake? Please? With cherries on top? Oh, damn, you already have a cherry on top. Um, well, that's that's really it. So, so all right, Why I'm out of here. He has met gear. Pretty sure we are below the Lifu Dawson here. Well, you see, I lived in the radioactive wasteland for so long, my body got accustomed to radiation. Now, when I don't get it and breathe fresh air, my body I decides turned into to shut cupcake. Down. I'm breathing in pure plutonium now. <sighs> I love the smell of splitting atoms any time of day. 
Well, if if the atoms are splitting, wouldn't you be splitting too? Because you'd explode. See you. All right, I'm out of here. I'll peruse your cupcake selection later. This isn't a cupcake library. Make sure to bring a coupon or cash. Hmm. Maybe I should start the cupcake library. But I'm I'm a window shopper. So I I I don't have money. I just like to shop around. I like to look at stuff. I can't, oh man, I can't go up the elevator. No. Yeah. We sell more than just damage. <laughs> oh, so cool. I'm high five in that arm. And the bolt. This is the first elevator I've been in which doesn't have the smooth, crisp smell of urine. Someone in management is clearly dropping the ball. Clearly. But it does have a high five arm. Could you imagine how high your self esteem would be if every Morning. single elevator you ever went into. Personnel attempting repairs will be bitch slapped if they do not keep it cool. I'm gonna rip your arm off. Any bitch slapping uh, while the option is there. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. If you're going to write it somewhere nearby, like last time, write it in riddle form so others can't use it. So this is the riddle, I guess. Scientists are hot. You're goddamn right. Nothing Maintenance guys. Women who are masters of are ten times <laughs> Then you get lucky and get rich. Oh god. Okay, so let's. Hmm. I don't think I can get this arm right now. I can't get it, man. Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's try and get the code going. Um, this makes no sense. Uh, church, lobby, labs. I want to go to labs. Take me to labs. This is all written in gibberish. Am I going to the labs? I, I really can't tell. Is that a maintenance? Is that a rat? What is that? It only opens when I use the controls. Okay, where are the controls anyway? Boop. Boop. Urge to smoke rising. This fish-based advertising sure is powerful. What is it? Is it? Oh, it's advertising to smoke. Oh my god. I don't need to convince anyone to pick up smoking right now. All right, so I am literally stuck in the elevator right now. Opens when I use the controls. So what if I high five? Warning, any not will be forgot right if you're right. Okay, so if I do that, I'm gonna get punched in the face. Hello, high fiving arm. Break an arm. <laughs> Cause you can't break a leg. It's funny because I hate myself for telling that joke. Yeah, it was terrible. It was a terrible paradigm. I want to kill you right now. Urge to smoke rising. Maintenance this guys are ten times hotter. Is powerful. Oh, I get it. I think I get it. Um, yeah. So we press the labs once, and then oh, one tooth. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down the elevator button pressing sequence somewhere. If you're going, write it in riddle form so others can't use it. Thank you. For calling maintenance. Someone will be ready to help in 91,234 <laughs> hours. Also, if this is Bob, the maintenance man, for God's sake, stop forgetting your maintenance code. Write down if you're going. Maybe right. I'll just have to press this 10 more. Okay, eight more times. Activate. Oh god, I broke the elevator. Oh man, I broke it. Where am I now? Labs, I hope. I think I just entered a portal into another dimension. Just because you're doing it telepathically doesn't mean it's not bad manners. This game is now just starting to get weird. Like insanely weird. <laughs> not this again. The names aren't demeaning, they're cute. Kiat. 
They're so cute. Just because you're all high and mighty consulting me on corporate sabotage and money laundering, you think you're too good for the name Mr. Mittens? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I thought so. Nothing what about socks? Uh, all right, give me that oh, arm. What? But we weren't going to liberate you till like four o'clock? Jesus, rollerblading Christ. I had the most delicious bread prepared for lunch. I woke up early for that shit, packed little Tupperware boxes. Now you're telling me I Shut have to up. wait? Yeah. Shut that's up. That's one Mr. Paradigm. If Who you are you? Taking down Dupa genetics, you'd be done. Done, Paradigm. Done. No one messes with my spread. Uh, sorry what? for liberating myself. Done. <sighs> Sorry, I just take my spreads really seriously. Does she ever stop sometimes. complaining? What the hell is going on? Seriously, stop complaining. All right. You see, yeah, seriously, uh, who, who is you? I'm the who is you? of the rebel group Baxt. What does that stand for? People against generally shitty things. Finally. Oh Something my god. Get behind. You're from Tumblr. You're a social justice warrior. I like, I like your head. head. Boost Thanks. that thug. I got it last week. It's probably my favorite now. As much as I like compliments, I feel like we have more pressing things to talk about. I don't think we do. Are you yeah. hiding? Nah, I just keep all my snacks under here. Super practical. She has a cat and an old man on her shoulder. And then drawn on her other shoulder is the same I'm cat. Apparently the key to taking down people <laughs> genetic. Yes, you're the all-important faulty prodigy child. Also, apparently your innards hold the key to world domination. Whoa. Oh, so that's I'm why you guys want to dissect me. Child? That's a pretty big reveal. I feel like it should have been more dramatic or heartfelt. You know, the fact I was born for commercial gain in the lab and now they want to dissect me? I pretty much knew that already, but uh, you didn't know that. You're stone cold. Yeah, well, I'm terrible at this uh, touchy-feely stuff. Last time someone cried in front of me, I just pat them on the head. Anyway, because of this, the rebel committee and my telepathic kitties recommended I commission a children's book to help explain it to you. Also, Perfect. because we weren't sure if the deformations affected your brain. Eh. Read these first, and I'll tell you how to get out of this mess. I need you to break it down for me, you know, into base terms, because I just don't get complicated things. Your mummy is an evil company called Evil Dupa Genetics. Written by Pax. Klaus was a big businessman with no ethics who owned the company named Dupa Genetics. I don't know about this guy, man. He looks a little strange. He set up head office in Eastern Europe to save money and avoid an ethics law holdup. Doesn't this look like a really weird coffee maker? He was big Mr. Grumpy Face, hating almost everyone and every place. Probably because of his, the tits on his face. If I had tits, well actually if I had tits on my face, I'd be pretty happy. What's with the kitten? The only thing he doesn't hate is his cat, I guess. But he did love glam metal music and professional wrestling magic. That hair! <laughs> he thought everyone was stupid for not liking both. That made him mad and sad. So he made an oath to take over the world so everyone had to listen to glam and watch professional wrestling on every program. Yay! He started by inventing the fully customizable Prodigy Child, perfect for rich parents whose biological children are wild. Intelligence, middle of the road, strength, maximum, yo yo. Why? <laughs> Internet arguments, very strong, wizardry, low, beatbox, high. Hell yeah. No longer Sounds like my stats. Their name to their biological shame. So they pass it on to their genetical the prodigies eventually improved child. inherit their power and wealth after their parents experience a bit of bad health. Oh no. Little did they know, Klaus still had power over them to help execute his plan of wrestling so like robots. and glam mayhem. 
Meanwhile, he made Olaf the Sloth a living candy machine. Vomiting various candy every half an hour was his routine. It looks like one of those faces off of... Or no, it's supposed to be cute. Yeah, for a second there I thought his lips were like... You know, one of those faces Olaf off of Adventure Time when they go... Class. Mm. <laughs> class did not. Constant hey, class, how are you? Okay. The only thing he sought. Hey, you want to hang out? No answer. Hey, man, you want to hang out? No answer. Hey, bud, you want to see a movie? Saw a trailer. I want to poop, but <laughs> I have no hole. <laughs> Looks pretty scary. Should be good. Hey, have you seen my keys? Sorry, I haven't. Anyway, though, you want to hang out today? Klaus later died of type 2 diabetes from all the candy. No! This made Olaf very sad and angry. So... Uh, Olaf was his candy vending machine that walked around with him. That was his purpose. That's why he made Olaf him. made a vow on his deathbed that he will continue his legacy instead. <laughs> it's the old tiger. The it's a well of After fact. 12 years, the prodigies suddenly pursue creative art careers. Why? A lot of the time they do performing arts instead of business plans and pie charts. F society, this isn't how pie charts work. Jason Derringer, Prodigy, 2014, How I Feel About the Excel of Consumerism 2026 Performance Art. That has a lot to do with performance art. I don't know what it is about performance art, but it always has to do with shitting. Like, is performance art just a really expensive way to do butt jokes and shit jokes? <laughs> Like, that's what it seems like. But there was one mutated child facing many tragedies. Not affected, he kept making commercial electro melodies. Or they like smear shit on stuff, or they just throw shit like a bunch of monkeys. I don't think it's performance now art. Now Olaf wants to give Paradigm an autopsy. The key oh, it's got to bones. fixing the defunct prodigy child army. Continuing class's plans to only make him happy. I thought that tumor was squishy, but it actually has bones. It well, it, it pretty much just is a bone. My name is Death. About the artist, I'd much rather be doing my own stuff. But shit, man, I gotta play them balls, play them bills. <laughs> These cheese and mac addiction doesn't come cheap, especially when it comes to my bowels. I'm done. I feel like I want all my news relayed to me via rhyme now. You can keep it for future reference. Did it make sense to you? While slightly demeaning, yes. Yeah, we weren't sure how smart you were, especially after a few months of observation. So, we winged it. You bit into Hot Pocket straight out the oven every time. <laughs> I'm a Hot Pocket athlete in training. It takes serious commitment. And a very also, burnt mouth. Observation? I'm uh, not going to even ask. So now what? It was probably Basically, John 3000. Get rid of all of sick bastard. Well, not we. Uh, do we really have to? I mean, I guess. Also, the part where I'm dissected for scientific purposes is not that great. I would but like to avoid that if like I can. Be cutie. I just wanna. Just wanna cuddle him. Cuddle him and give him infinity cuddles. That's true. He is pretty adorbs. Not that keen on listening to glam metal for the rest of my life, though. Sometimes you need that doof doof or oons oons. Yeah, that big doof doof. I like them banging beats, baby. Um. Although, ye. then I won't be able to make the fattest electronic music album ever made. I'd say it could have a pretty successful run on community radio. You take that back. It could reach one time viral status online. At least. I think. So anyway, this floating guy here is the only person who knows how to get rid of him. It can talk? That's the problem. The dumb asshole tried to escape when I came here to ask him. The teleportation went wrong and ported his limbs around the facility. What you need to do now is collect said body parts, then put them all in the machine. I'll handle it from there. Good luck. Oh, okay. Mr. Mitten says don't mess it up or he will passive-aggressively push stuff off your desk. I'll keep that in mind. 
Also, I took the restrictions off the elevator now. We put them on because of the 80% failure rate. You should be fine, though. You've reaped enough bad karma, I think. Just look at your face. Uh, thanks. And look how short I am. Oh! Wait, what is that button that's... Taken out. Anyway, okay, so let's go get his body parts real quick. Here we got the arm, the first thing we need. Pick find that the up. Rest of his body. All right, so can I start putting stuff on him yet? Oh shit! No, wait. I need these. No, no. I want. I want to put these on these. Free limbs for everyone. No, wait. I need these. Okay, so I can't put it on until later, I guess. That's a shame. All right, what's this? Mysterious mystery hatch. Rubber. Ooh, it's the mystery machine. Let's pick it up. Open up to me, and I'll show you a whole world of entry and re-entry. Giggity. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Um, can we go, please? Can I take this arm now? Give me. Warning. It will be a bitch locked if they do not. I'd like to avoid. Also, if for God's Damn, sake. it still won't give me this arm. I know I need this arm. All right, so let's go get that I other leg out. that was Again, down in the in the I first love corridor. Your design, but you know what? I also love fish. Can we get the fish in there? That's a terrible idea, but because you're paying me, okay. Nice. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Okay. Let's go to the labs, which is where I first wanted to go. Oh no, it's exploding again. No wonder this thing has an 80% failure rate. What a terrible elevator. I can't believe they let this thing. What? This is the labs? Damn. Okay. Um, let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Round trip, right back to the lab. All right, let's go back to the first floor, I think is where I wanna go. Go get that arm. Um, yeah, the offices, perfect. Boop. Yes. Okay, now. Um, where we want to go now? Hmm. Maybe there's something in the vending machine. Haven't checked that yet. Okay, so we got little heads, little $9 crush mark. Those are the currency. What what are those? The plus one would be nice if I could kill myself. Eating burritos till I die would be a pretty good option. I need to use the keypad if I want it anyway. I don't think it's reachable like the instant Swedish person. No, I think I need money anyways, and I don't have any money, so we're gonna have to figure that out later. But, uh, let's see if we can go find the lobby. Haven't been in there yet, so, I mean, let's go. Because if I can't reach that arm, I mean, not the arm, I can't reach the leg right now, so I need a, something to get it. Yeah. Okay, so we got Head Mart, Church, Lobby. There we go. Boom. Boom. Let us see what is downstairs. Oh, what in the he <laughs> It looks like a little alien dude, but I still can't tell what it is. Oh, hey, dudes, what's up? What's going on, brothers? Wait, I could probably reach the uh, the leg with that. Let's pick it up. Give me that. Hey, uh, do you mind if I take this? Frankly, I don't do much lancing these days. Oh, uh, yes. His name is Larry Lancy. Just ask him nicely and you can summon or unsummon him. Larry Lancy? Keen to ride with me? Yes, let us unite and bring pain and suffering to our enemies. And then drink some cold brewskis over their corpses. Hell yeah. Cold brewskis over corpses. Alright, um, let's see. What else? Is there anything else in the lobby that I could probably get? Let's talk to this guy real quick. Um, talk to you. 
Is this guy just a mannequin? A tribute for a dead employee? Why is this a tribute for a... Well, it is dupe of genetics. This is just a really weird place. Give me this audio tape. What is inside? I can use this with my dupagen. Yeah, cool. So, let's see what it says. Boop. Beep. I don't see it anywhere. Where is it? There is no audio tape, or my eyes are blind. I think my eyes are blind. Anyway, let us go. Observation. Is that the butt observation area? Okay, let's get out of here. Bam. Am I in the elevator? <laughs> oh, the game is just loading. All right. Like, I want to give it a high five, but it won't let me give it a high five. It always talks about Bob and stuff. Let's stop talking about Bob. Let's talk about you and me and our relationship. All right, so let's see. Lobby, church, labs, offices. That's where I want to go. Bam. Skadoosh. Okay. Hello, creepy man that just, you know, keeps breathing really heavily while he looks at cupcakes. But I mean, cupcakes are pretty cool. I'd be breathing heavily, really heavily if I just sit in front of cupcakes all day long. Cupcakes are just so yummy. Could you imagine if you were a cupcake? Just sit there with frosting all slathered all over you, looking delicious. Okay, let's use Lance. Boop. Boop. Go so ah, sure, get it, get it. Even if you were crafted for murder, you can go against the grain and do something positive. Summon Lance Larry. Attack leg. <sighs> Ten points. Goodbye, fleshy mortal. I must go back to my realm. Later, Larry Lancy. I love fantasy magic. I know, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Pick that up. One hand damage. <laughs> That's cool. Pick up. It's just like, um, like Dungeons and Dragons, I guess. I'm not really sure. Okay, so. Uh, well, I wonder where the head would be. I know where the other arm is, but I need to enter some kind of code, and I haven't figured out you know, how the code works yet, but maybe I can turn on maintenance or something somehow? Or go to maintenance? I really, I don't know. We're, we're gonna figure it out there. We're gonna use our big, massive, giant brains to figure these things out. It'd be nice if we had some fat-ass beatsies, though, you know, to, to help us along, because, I mean, this, this, this just isn't working for me, man. I need fat beats. All right, let's use it. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's pretty simple. I can't pick it up or, or it won't work. What if I just did a high 10? They're 10 times cooler. I mean, hotter. Um, look at it. So, ah, oh. oh. security code button sequence now. Press again to exit troubleshoot mode. Cool. I think it's time to put in that code. You know, so I what do they say? Idea. I think you should put in that code. I think I'm gonna put in that code. Thank you for activating yeah. the maintenance override. Please. I did it. Try not to make it worse. I promise I won't. I will be best maintenance man ever in world. I'm a maintenance man. I'm a maintenance man. Maintenance man. Maintenance man. Okay, shut up. This rhyme sucks. Now there's a glory hole. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so now we just need to find the head, wherever that is. Uh, oh, I know where we should go. We should probably go to Head Mart. I mean... <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I, how I didn't see this before. I mean, it just makes complete sense. Head Mart is where you would buy heads if you were looking for them. C 
Cool. Hey, that looks like the scientist kid over there. Give me that. Which Wait one is it? Second, don't. don't you dare pick that up, you little bastard. Put that thing down. No, 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 no. Put that head down. Put that down. Hey, uh, hey, come back here. I can't even get hit. Crap. Literally. What is my life? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, a hot dog. I'm going to follow this little piece of crap. See where he goes. Hmm. Maybe I can try and get back there somehow. There's nothing really out here. Why is a floating donut? Why are there... Is that Gabe Newell? The younger Gabe Newell? Hey. I think I recognize some of these people. I don't know why. Well, let's go back to the elevator, since I clearly lost the head. He's watching me go. He's like, good riddance. Get out of here, you fat, ugly, disgusting excuse for a human being. Headmart Church. Labs. Hmm. Let's start church. Let's go there. Haven't been there yet. Um. Actually, I should probably. Yeah, I should definitely go back there. There's got to be more stuff in that room. I know, like, that was stupid to leave so early, but hey, man, people make mistakes, for God's sake. All right, let's, what's this? I didn't even try anything before I left. Hmm. It has a password. Damn. Time to hack this bad boy. Hacking in progress. Most epic hacking montage ever. Oh my god, it's taking so long. Why is it taking so long? I don't, I just want to be on the computer. This is taking so long. Come on, come on, baby. This is the weirdest way to hack something I've ever seen. <laughs> it's going so fast. Holy crap. We're entering yeah. light speed. It's login details. We're admin, admin. Thank nice. You, incompetence. That's the way they always do it, and they never change it. Prices are not guaranteed frequently. All right. So this this must be like a tip of the hat to Futurama or something. Choose head. Got one of these suckers. Um, that ugly guy. He seems pretty happy about something. There's the scientist. Surplus of generic nerd scientists. Rich Reed, baby. No Wi-Fi signal. Oh, man, we lost the head. Contact IT. So, oh, th there we go. That opened up the room that I need to go to, I guess. Good thing I came back here. I could have been wandering around for days, aimlessly in the hallways. And then I eventually would have starved to death and... Well, first, I probably would have needed water, and I would have, you know, like, drowned to death or whatever. But then I would have, I would have died because I would have needed food. All right, buttons. let's see. I don't want to talk to the buttons. I want to use them. Boom. Boosh. Okay. I wish there was some better. It doesn't matter what elevator you're in. It always needs better. What? Where am I? Am I in the Matrix? I'm pretty sure I had a nightmare like this one. Yeah. I have a rap battle with Internet Explorer. Turns out the dude gets a lot of smack talk from people. Some I know, he's got some pretty whack beats. Totally destroyed me. What? Internet Explorer yes. destroyed you? This is how I die. You make me sick. Oh my god. Hello, sir. Oh my god, she's so I'm hot. From Hi. IT. Welcome to the settings room. Oh. Perfect. Hello? I, uh... You look surprised. Well, Didn't expect to meet someone you know, so attractive. You guys are normally, uh... A lot Small? more greasy and awkward. Greasy? <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. I can't blame you. Popular culture distorts a lot of reality. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm looking to reset the router. Seems like the Wi-Fi is not working. Oh, really? Well, I'll get right on that. Oh, no. She broke. She broke. I'm a walking stereotype. I Welcome knew to it. My realm of pain and error. I'll never reset the router. It's the only thing that makes it look like I do something around here. <laughs> You'll never so, catch me. <laughs> he purposely turns the router off. I, I, you're pretty slow. I think I'll catch you. No problem. Really? I'll just let you get a head start. That's awesome. If I, that's actually really smart. I'm not the same as all the other guys. I think you're more than just a knob. I won't just turn you. I'm not just gonna use you. I'm gonna treat you right, Doorknob. I'm gonna love you the way it counts. This door instills no confidence. The main offender is the laminated fake wood. No respect for quality these days. I could easily just kick right through it. Please work. Good. Just good. It worked perfectly. Kill base OS, a fatal error has occurred. Windows is shut down. This must be Windows 7. Not too bad, eh? Could be better, you know, you could spend a little bit more money on the OS. What is that, baloney? This OS is full of baloney. And now for the eight year booting progress. Ah, God damn it. Get out of here. Your OS just crashed. We recommend you send an error report that will never be read. Is there another option? An angry Fix it yourself? Using your own blood or ink with a light sprinkling of airborne virus in the envelope. Whoa, dude, that's intense. Can we tone it down a bit? Yeah, we're not going to send anthrax. Letter will be more applicable to your conflict avoiding personality. That sounds doable. Now to use my <laughs> Hexor skills to rally the items. Hecky hecky hecky. You know, for Ding. a failed prodigy child, I'm actually really, really intelligent. Kabasso has encountered a fatal error which can be caused by system reboot also affecting the general self-esteem. Please take better care of the OS. They won't be around forever. Would you like to report this to developers to get access to the system setting? Yeep. You are in thrilla position for customer bug fix request. An operator will be with you shortly. Great. Let me check out the settings. Post the box. Activate, 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 activate. Oh, here we go. That one. That's the one we want. Wait, what's this guy? <laughs> Let's make it bigger. Bigger, I say. What's the pen? It's just a floating pen. All right. Let's do this. Get out of my face. We have conquered Kielbasa OS. I currently don't have the dexterity to complete such a feat. I'm pretty I sure really that door is going to rip my arm off. Just morning yoga routine now. Yeah. All right. So obviously we need to slow it down somehow. Jack's a special folder. What's in Jack's special folder? It's probably Jack's special porn, right. obviously. Let's see. Contraception and the rubber band collection. Let's go about 10 folders deeper. Oh, God, no. Please, no. Don't take oh, me any nice. deeper. A wildly inappropriate erotic novel. Great. The jungle is full of terrors. And handsome anthropomorphic hippo men. And jackpot. Great. Mega bro zapper. I've always wanted one of these. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew! Okay, so. That is the door. It's still tripping out, but it's starting. It looks like it's starting to calm down a little bit now. Um, wait a minute. What if I unactivate it? And then activate it? Nah. That won't work. Postal box. Oh, hello, Mr. Postal box. Give me your postage. Let me see what's inside. I need the angrily worded letter first. Oh, we are actually writing a letter. Okay. 
So we're going into mail, I guess. I can't. Hey, wh what? Away. What? Come back. This is horrible. Okay, what about a pen? We're gonna need a pen first. This sucker better not fly away, or I am gonna kick so much at. Whoa! I need to use it with something first. So, um, I need to use it with some. What can we even use it with? Boop, boop, boop. What about this? Your mommy, Dupa. Okay, that's not gonna work. Um, what else can I use it with? Got a zapper. Pew, pew, pew. Boop. I'd much prefer a moving target. Oh, what if? What if, what if? Okay, okay, we're putting some stuff together here now. I'm picking up what you're laying down. Pew, pew, pew. I'd much prefer a moving target. It is moving. Can you not see it? All right, um, let's get the pen back. Grab that sucker. I need to use it with something first. What if I can get, like, a piece of paper from the recycling bin? It's too high up. Damn. You never get the game bugs you want. So, oh, what if I touch the mail? <laughs> get it? And then I shoot it. I can't. He keeps flying away. So shoot him, man. Shoot his ass. Boop! If only cleaning out your inbox was this fun, you could turn it into an FPS and make a killing on hits and gun skins. Take note, developers. Yeah. It's like CSGO. Killed him. Killed him. Oh, he's wrecked. I should pick it up before any emo equal rights activists come. <laughs> like, um... Okay, let's pick, pick it up. up before any... I'm trying to. All right. Oh, oh, that's right. I was pressing you use. Better take the corpse and hide the evidence. Yes, let's hide, hide the evidence. evidence. Equal rights activists around. <laughs> I'm so evil. Okay, so now I can use the pen. Boop. I can use that with my mail. No, I need it for the passive aggressive letter. What? So use this. Score. I promise you, Pen. You'll be the first one I run dry. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna suck you dry, baby. I'm gonna suck you real. You just so. Okay, here we go. Where's the rest of my inventory? Can I scroll up, please? I still oh. need the paper. Damn it! Why are you so co Why are you so complicated? It's too high up. You never get the game bugs you want. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way I can bring it down. That folder won't work. What about this guy? What about lock size? What if I pick that up? Nope. Okay. This guy. Make sure to reply to all your scam emails. Statistically, one of them has to be real. <laughs> You'll get so much money. Okay. This is not working very well. Postal box. That's, that's where I'm going to post the letter, but I need paper. And I think that's where I'm going to get it. But I can't reach Every it. Every time I retrieve items from the recycling bin, I feel like a... Rise, my wrongly deleted children. Rise. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, file purgatory. But how do I get to it? It's too high. You never get the game. It's too high. You never... You never get the game bugs you want. Lock size? I think that has something to do with it. Anyways, we've been doing this for quite a while, so I think I'm going to end it off there. And I'll see you on the next episode of Paradigm. And I think really soon I want to play ukulele. I just downloaded it the other day, and it is so fun. See you tomorrow. Adios.